Hey everybody, I want to welcome you back into the Fallout Shelter. I want to bring you some information today that they want to mine the moon. And uh, from JPL and NASA, how mining the moon can work. But first I want to show you this article from fizz.org called Mining the Moon. Come out March 5th, 2019, Mining the Moon. It starts out about what would happen if you were transported to the moon, about the temperatures and how uninhabitable it is, and how then it tells you if we are to explore the moon that we'll have to deal with these challenging conditions. We'll have to have habitats, air, food, energy, and as well, fuel to power rockets back to Earth, which we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, you want to know why we have a new space force? It's to protect our interests in space because it's going to become an economical thing for private companies. But we're going to protect it with our military. I'll bring that back around in a minute. Underpinning efforts to use lunar materials is a desire to establish either temporary or even permanent human settlements on the moon. So we're going to settle the moon. If you'll notice in the artist renderings in these photos in this article, at least the Earth does kind of have a normal size that you would expect to see from the moon and it don't look exactly the same size as the moon from the moon. Uh, ISRU sounds like science fiction and for the moment it largely is. This concept involves identifying, extracting, and processing material from the lunar surface and interior and converting it into something useful. You can type mining the moon into Google or any search engine and get page after page after page after page of mining the moon and nothing else which means this is already a thing they're, they're just trying to figure out how to do it uh, many countries are trying to do this uh, there have been discussions of trying to mine and ship back helium-3 uh, that's locked in the moon it's a non radioactive isotope of helium uh, I'm going to leave the links in here. You can go read read all of these articles. They're pretty simple reads. Uh, they try to put it, I guess, in a way that the layman can understand it. But what it does say is we're still going to mine the moon. Uh, one of the articles that I've seen, and I cannot find it again, basically said that we'll just have to fight over it. So... Uh, but we have the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the California Institute of Technology with how could mining work, how could moon mining work. Uh, it shows you the hows and the whys and, and the, the efforts. If they're doing this at a NASA website, they're putting a lot of money into it whether they intend on doing it or not. And they gotta get that money from you somehow, so you have to at least think they're doing something important. And if they are doing something important, it don't matter. It's all about money, it's all about money, it's all about money. This article right here from the Australian Academy of Science says, as for ownership, the 1967 United Nations Outer Space Treaty says that no nation can claim ownership of the moon. However, that doesn't necessarily prevent private companies from claiming portions of the moon as their own commercial property. It's an ethical conundrum that space law experts and ethicists have not solved yet, but it seems we might, not, we might need to start thinking about a solution soon. You think? No. We found solutions. We've got private companies going into space to get to the moon. What do you think SpaceX is for? What do you think all these other things is for? Why do you think Israel sent a moon lander? Why do you think China sent a moon lander? If they're all lying about it, well then they're all just doing it to receive continual tax money from their tax payers or from whoever they take their money from. In America, we have NASA. If you don't believe NASA's going to the moon, well then they're putting on a very big orchestrated plan to receive tons of money. Is that possible in this country? By absolutely all means it is. Is the moon 200,000 miles away? Is the moon 5,000 miles away? I don't know. I've never been to the moon. But what I do know is that everything here is economized. Everything that our country tries to do, they try to economize it. They eventually want to sell you your water, your energy. They believe that you have no free God-given rights. They are just strictly selling them to you and economizing everything. The, the, the trip to the moon, the trip to Mars, it's no different. They're not doing it to find out about our origins. They're doing it to find out what is there that we can make money off of. Huh. Maybe if you come over to a DLive stream, uh, DLive.tv slash Fallout Shelter, you'll find out how I really feel. If you enjoy this video, 
Uh, if you find yourself liking it, click the buttons. I appreciate it. God bless you all and have a very great day.